Good afternoon. So I was downtown and I realized that today is actually the 29th of June. And every 29th of June, there is this big celebration in honor of St. Peter and St. Paul. It's their name day today, it's a joint name day. And if you don't know, in Greece, name days are always celebrated throughout the year. Basically, every single day of the year is somebody's name day. So today is St. Peter and Paul because those two men were so tied together in history. And they had this big celebration on Mars Hill, which is the hill that is between the Acropolis and Philippopolis Hill downtown. So this is where we are right now. That's the theater of Herodes Atticus down below and the Parthenon at the top there. I actually did a drawing video in this area a while back. I'll link it so you can see. Actually, I think I hear this band playing already. It's a really big to do. A lot of people actually come to Athens specifically for this celebration. And I remember coming years ago with my mom when I was just a real little, little girl. And it was really fun. I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get over there. Can you hear the music? <laughs> so we'll go see what's going on. You're being treated to the Greek afternoon sun. Super bright, super hot. But hey, it is the 29th of June, so that's to be expected. Let's go a little bit up here in the shade, because it's really hot in the sun. This is such a beautiful road. I mean, these are ancient stones, and yet it's still used today as it was all those years ago. I love the field of olive trees just surrounding. That's what I love about here, you can really forget that you're in the middle of the city because there's so many pockets that are just fields. So before the officials get to Mars Hill, let me take you up there and show you the lay of the land. And this road usually has zero cars on it, but it's because of today's festivities. These stones are so slippery because of the sun, of people walking on them for, I don't know, hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. So that's the Parthenon, and we're literally right underneath it. And when I was little, I remember came here with my mom. We were at the top there trying to come down. And I remember my mom telling me to just crawl down like a child. And I started laughing because I had to remind her that I actually was a child. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to get up the stairs before all the Greek Orthodox priests. I don't think we can go up. Can, I can't go up? It's closed. When is it going to be open again? About 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? I'll see it another day. That's okay. Thank you. And I believe this is from the Acts of the Apostles. So this would be St. Paul's speech that he gave on Mars Hill here. So I'm going to be quiet now because the band stopped and I'm afraid that dignitaries are going to start to speak. I think I'm going to get out of here now. So yeah, I thought that was a very interesting little cultural exploration moment to enjoy. I love finding little moments like that that you're not expecting and again those are the moments that you know add all this different all this like color to one's life. Totally wasn't planning on doing this and yet right place right time I guess that about sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's the olive trees that I mentioned before. <laughs> it's all dry here now. 
Like I said, I filmed another video a while back in this same area and you could really tell the difference. I think I filmed that one in February. So it was lush with fresh vegetation and yeah, it was a different feel, but totally. This is just summer afternoon breeze, kaikaitas, the heat. I am consistently amazed by these cobblestone streets. I mean, look at that. What is that marble from? Like, where did it come from? How long has it been here? I wish I knew. I should look into exactly how old these cobblestone streets are surrounding the Acropolis. I find things like this absolutely incredible. The workmanship. Who placed these stones here? It's just fascinating.